One of the most exciting features of the new Sony FX3 is the dual native ISO. It gave us the freedom to maintain a high dynamic range while shooting in low light conditions. And it was a game changer. I was following the Sony's instructions for the S-Log3 to shoot with ISO 640 or 12800, so I completely stopped using the rest. For daylight shots, using uh, the low base with NDs, for interiors, using the high base and NDs. And for a really, really dark places, the high base without ND, like caves or all mines. When Sony announced the new firmware, it made me slightly confused, to be honest. Is the new Cine EI mode somehow different to what I've been already applying with the two native ISO strategy? Here is what I found. ISO 800 and 12800 is the new black. You get rid of the scrolling, the ISOs, so this is great with just the one button. And here comes the completely new thing, which I've actually never heard before. The exposure index. So let me explain. Um, the EI or the exposure index. Um, he's basically your new buddy, your new pal. He's just trying to help. He's like an assistant. And I think if he could talk, he would say something like, Hey buddy, hey buddy. it's... Okay, if you don't mess with my numbers, if you don't change me, you can just stay within the borders of the two numbers and we will be totally okay together. I mean, you will have a brilliant images and I will be very happy. But if you want to create a specific look to your images and if you want to take more control of your footage to basically have a more dynamic range in the shadows or in the highlights, it's totally okay too. You know, you, know, you can just you can mess, mess with me, you can lower me or hire me, and all I will do, I will just tell you what, what to do. The only thing you have to do is to compensate the change of the light with other tools other than ISO. So iris or ND and we will be totally okay with each other and you will have a great footage ready for a pushpoint. So in reality it means that you are not using ISO anymore to expose your image and you are using other tools and the index is just trying to help you to reach the clearest image possible under the given circumstances. In the end, you will have rough footage and this footage will be overexposed or underexposed, but it will be for your benefit. It's what you wanted for the post-production. So we are all good, we are all good. So this is at least for me the way how I understand the new feature. I think time will show if it's the right translation or not. So EI. It's really nice to meet you, and I think I will be your friend from now on. Um, and I hope that we will have a nice time together, especially when FX3 just became a um, Netflix approved camera because of the new firmware, which is great news, right? So take your camera, go outside and enjoy. Cheers.